Has anyone ever told you that your child may have a sensory issue? Perhaps you're wondering what that is and if they're right. Well, today I'm gonna to help you out. So keep on watching to learn more. Hi, I'm Amy Baez, pediatric occupational therapist and founder of Play Be, and I'm here to provide you with some playful solutions, powerful results, and get you some answers to some of your burning questions. Does your child have a sensory issue? Well, that is a topic that I could talk about for a very long time, but I'm gonna to try to keep it simple here today. And if you want to learn more, please let me know in the comments so I can create another video that is more detailed. Let's start out by talking about what sensory processing disorder is. Now, it used to be called sensory integration disorder. It has many different names and it can present in many different ways. There's also different disorders within the topic of sensory processing disorder, sometimes it's not even recognized as a medical condition. So basically our brain is taking in all this information that is from the stimuli in the world. We have a great understanding of touch and smell and taste and sight and hearing, but we also have what is called proprioception related to our body position and how it receives information in our joints. And also related to movement and balance, we have what we call vestibular sense. We also talked about interoception, which relates to our body's internal awareness of bodily functions. We have different ways that we interpret that information. And for some kids, it may kind of get boggled up along the way, right? They're just not quite getting that information or it's coming out and expressing in ways that may not be the best behavior that we want from them. And, and this is something that they cannot control. What you need to understand is that there is a spectrum of how we interpret information in our bodies. Some of us are very sensitive to some stimuli and some of us are not at all. And that's where we fall on the spectrum. Now, when it becomes an issue <laughs> is when we have a child who is having their life disrupted or your family life is disrupted because your child is either not responding enough or responding too much to their sensory input. And to be honest, it could be different for one sense versus the other. They might be hypersensitive to one thing and then not responding at all in another sense. But what I want you to know is that you can reach out to professionals like myself, an occupational therapist, to learn more about sensory processing and to see whether your child is maybe falling in or out of the range of what would be considered typical or normal. So how do we do that? We often might give a test, a questionnaire to a parent or a teacher, or another caregiver to answer some questions about your child's everyday life that we don't necessarily see. And when we tally those scores, we can compare them to other children and tell you whether this is kind of normal or whether this is something that could use some help. Now you can determine that for yourself as well. You can decide, you know what, is this super disruptive? Is this something that is causing me stress? Is this something that is causing my child to have difficult relationships? Are they not able to complete tasks that they're wanting to do? These are things that you can consider to know whether it is an issue for you or not. Do they overreact to sound? Do they get very upset from the smell in a room? Do they hold their pencil extra hard so much that it breaks the paper? Is it affecting their sleep? Is it affecting their feeding? Is it affecting their independence and learning new skills? Are they not meeting developmental milestones because of it? Try to narrow things down to three things. What are the three things that are the most disruptive for your child? If you think about everything, it may be really overwhelming to kind of address. Now, it can be a challenge to have your child receive therapy for specifically just this concern because it's not often recognized by insurance companies as a valid reason for medical treatment. However, 
it is important if it is impacting the other skills that your child has. So you may have a therapist who's going to look at their fine motor skills, at their gross motor skills, at their perceptual skills, at their cognitive skills, their social skills. They're gonna look at these other areas and see how they are impacted by the sensory processing system and see how they can help your child to work on those individual skills. And when it comes to treatment, your child may be introduced into an environment that allows them to be introduced to different types of sensory input depending on which sense is most effective. So if they are a child who really needs a lot of movement, guess what? Your therapist is going to show you ways to encourage the use of that movement and to get your child to get to a place where they are starting to receive that information and can have a more proper response. The last thing I want to share is to make sure that you're advocating for your child at your pediatrician's office. Don't let them say to you, oh, don't worry, they're going to grow out of that. Get that referral for occupational therapy because it's going to really help you and your family to understand how to help your child better and to help them succeed and achieve. If finding an occupational therapist in your area is not working out for you, you can also seek consultation. You can work with someone like me who does parent coaching to help you along to see how you can help your child while you are trying to figure out whether they need direct intervention. I hope you found this helpful. If you do, please leave a comment down below. Let me know if there's a specific video you would like to have more detailed information about. Be sure to check out playap.com where you can get some more information. There is an expert advice blog there for you that you can find some additional information about this topic in various different ways. So check it out and see if there's one that's perfect for you. Until the next video, I hope you have a play. Full day.